For my first video for 2013, I talked about a, a, a rollback truck that I decided I wanted to try and figure out how to animate it so that it looked like the uh, bed was coming up and then back and the car was going to roll off. So I've been working on that a lot, and this is what it looks like so far here. This is a regular, what the stock rollback looks like, okay? It's just a stock rollback by New Ray, and uh, it works really nice, but it works better when it's animated. So what I'm doing is I have the, the mechanism to lift the bed here already. I'll sh we'll, we'll look at the, the, the inner workings here in a couple minutes. Uh, the, but so far, what I have done is I have been able to come up with a way to get that bed up. Now, the reason there is all this mechanism down underneath here to hold, you know, just to get that bed up is because that that piece of angle, that large piece of angle there, actually has to hold oops, these two motors. Okay, these two motors with pulleys on them that I, I, I was able to make these two pulleys out of uh, a clear plexiglass and then sandwich everything together. And uh, uh, the one pulley will actually, once, once this motor this motor it will be get fastened to the bottom of the board, and as it turns, as you can see, it's an eccentric. Um, and as it turns, what it will do is it will lift the bed up. When the bed gets to a, the, the very top, it'll it, this piece of aluminum will hit a, a limit switch. This can get technical. Sorry, it'll hit a limit switch, which will stop that. As soon as it stops that motor from going up any farther, then it'll start these two motors here with the pulleys on, which will drop the bed back. Now, there's going to be a car sitting here, so what has to happen is the car and the bed have to move at exactly the same speed as it goes down. Otherwise, the car will look like it's... Uh, Moving too fast or moving too slow, if it's too slow, it's going to be get pulled off. So then when it when this bed gets the, the whole way down, then the car, I have everything back here in a little plastic container, the car will then continue down like that. Then everything reverses. The car gets pulled back up. When it gets to this, as far up as I want it, the bed will pull back up then everything will reset and come down like that. These are the inner workings for the rollback. I started by cutting this section of the top of the rollback bed out, plus this section here and this section here. So that's all open. I had to put in two pulleys, one a little bit larger than the other one. The first one that's larger has to be able to have the string right over top of here and then it's attached to the car so that the the car can roll back. The second one that is in is here is it got to be a little bit smaller so that string actually gets fastened to the bottom of the bed so that bed can roll back. All right, here's a here's what the pulleys look like. As you can see, a large one and a small one, there's a piece of tube of brass rod in here to allow those pulleys to ride on very uh, easily. I had to fabricate little pieces of brass to so put that all on and then this, everything ties together here. Now what I'm a little worried about is, and I'm going to have to I'll find that out later, is, is the rollback bed itself heavy enough to allow gravity to pull it back once the bed is up. Once that bed roll comes up, will that work? That I don't know. This is why this is not an exact science. There's a lot of trial and error in this. So I just wanted you to see that things are moving along. The, uh, the two pulleys that I built are here. Okay. As you can see, this is actually three pieces of plexiglass that I cut I beveled the edge here to a 45 degree angle, glued everything together, and then sandwiched it onto this piece of brass that actually holds everything with an 8 inch collar. This is a reversible 
110 volt or 110 volt reversible gear motors. This is the motor that's got the, it's on an eccentric that actually will take the bed up and down again. So I'm, I'm working along, I'm getting things going uh, in between doing some a lot of other things. So I'll get back to you and hopefully this thing is going to be on the layout for 2013.